Hey guys. So I'm in my living room. I'm <laughs> out of the way. I'm in my living room because Anthony's sleeping right now. But today I am going to be turning myself into a soft girl. So what is a soft girl, you may ask? Basically an aesthetic, but I'm going to like look up the actual like thing for it soft girl urban dictionary a soft girl is someone who loves clips and headbands in their hair cute necklaces and peaches they love to wear blush usually e either pink or peachy color they also are addicted to lip gloss and love painting hearts and clouds on their cheeks the clothes cute tank tops pastel colors tennis skirts mom jeans and cute white socks so this is soft girl aesthetic and i'm gonna try to turn myself into a soft girl and i actually really Really like this aesthetic pinks my favorite color but I also I feel like my aesthetic is a mix of ow waffle I feel like my aesthetic is a mix of soft girl and like grunge if that's a thing but um yeah so we're gonna be turning myself into a, uh, a uh, um, uh, soft girl first step to turning myself into a soft girl is gonna be makeup I'm just gonna do a really natural makeup look. I'm gonna do really. Uh, mm, yes. Let me turn this light, light off back here. I'm just gonna use the blue clips for now. I'm gonna clip my hair back. So it's not my face while I'm doing my makeup. So we're just gonna do really natural makeup, but I also want to put pink hearts on my cheeks. I don't, I'm not really gonna be able to like create like an actual good like makeup look because I'm not good at makeup whatsoever. But they basically just do a natural glowy look. But I want some pink hearts on my face. And I'm not pro enough to do fucking like clouds and shit, so I'm gonna do hearts. I also got my nails done. Which they go perfectly with this aesthetic why do my hands look like that the person that did my nails honestly like did not really do that good he was kind of like i don't know if he just didn't like me or what but like when i sat down i was waiting there for a little bit and he just came over and he just didn't even say hi didn't say anything i need a mirror I can use this mirror he just kind of came over and i was like hi and he was like hello he just kind of didn't even like say anything to me it was just so weird to say and then i like showed him what i wanted and i told him what i wanted and he did not really do it right i kind of fixed them i don't know i don't know but i refiled them because he like did not do the length i wanted or anything he uh did like the pinky nail and then he showed me it and he was like is this good and i was like yeah but then he did all the other nails like double the length and I was just like, okay. And I'd already asked him to do it shorter, so I didn't, I don't know. I just like didn't know what to say because he was being so awkward and like not the nicest. <laughs> so I was just uncomfortable. And yeah, so like I didn't know what to say. And he charged me like $10 more for this length when it wasn't even the length I asked for. You see, literally this pinky is so much, was so much shorter than all my other nails. Like insane, bro. If I'm paying like $40 for this shit, I should not have to go home and refile them. This is why I never get my nails done. I actually kind of want to try to like do my own nails at home because you can like buy all the stuff for it like on Amazon and shit. And I know it takes like a long ass time to do them but i kind of want to do it and just try it out but kennedy kennedy walsh i don't know if y'all know her but she's a youtuber and she does her own nails and they always look so so good and i really want to try to do my own because people just always happen to just mess them up i've only gotten acrylics twice in my life before this so this is my third time and the last time i got them done the person did them so badly i don't know what he did but it was like Oh, I got foundation all over my nails, but they were so painful. My whole fingertips, like the whole finger was like bruised. And I was just like, um, I had to take them off after like four days because they were, after like a week I took them off because they were like so bruised and they hurt so fucking bad. I don't know if he just put way too much glue or like what the hell happened. But it was like the most painful thing. Before that, I got gel nails. And that was the only time I got in gel nails. And those nails literally peeled off the next day. Like the whole gel nail. And they were pretty expensive. So I'm not doing that again. And then the only time I got good acrylics was I got acrylics for my graduation like five years ago now. 
Wow, I'm fucking old. That was the only time that I got good acrylics. After that, everything just went downhill and I don't like getting acrylics because they don't fucking do them right. This guy actually didn't do that bad. He just like didn't listen to what I wanted fully. And he also used this thing that, one of those like nail file things. How do I explain it? Like the machine thing, you know what I'm talking about? But it had like spiky things on it. And I don't know if you're supposed to use that for acrylics. But he used that and now there's like lines on my, you probably aren't going to be able to see it. There's like lines, like indents all over my nails. So that's fun. I feel like I have stuff in my teeth. No, I don't. You definitely fucking do. And that's pretty gross. I just need to hurry it up because we're trying to be soft girls. I don't know if I should put my hair up for this look or if I should keep it down, but I guess we'll decide. Oh, also, I watched it last night, the first one, and I don't know why I never watched it, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't see it in theater because I was fucking cracking up. That shit was so funny. I don't know why it was so funny to me, but the way that he was like running and shit, I was dying. Like, I was dying. It was fucking hilarious. The way he just... I don't know just watch it if you haven't just I don't even know how to explain it He would just like run at the kids and it was like oh my god And we're gonna watch the second it tonight and I'm excited because that shit was so good and funny My fucking leg is falling asleep right now yeah! It's tingling Yo my foot is like tingling I have Halloween socks on right now if you're wondering I love socks like a lot The people who don't like socks why? Like you can spice up any outfit with some socks. You could wear some basic socks. I just realized waffles right there looking at me. <laughs> you can wear some basic socks. You could wear like your favorite fucking show or character on your socks. You could wear colorful socks. It just changes up the whole aesthetic and it just changes up the mood. Actually, I tried to find pink or like cute white socks for this look but I couldn't find any anywhere. So I don't know what to say about that. I need to go get my eyebrow stuff. Oh my God, my foot's going to sleep. I just got makeup on my purse. Oh no, I know. I know. Oh my gosh, I was about to be so upset. I put my clips, these little clips, the pink ones in the pocket of my purse and it's like not a zip up, it's just like a pocket and they fell out and I thought they were gone, but they weren't. They were just in my purse laying around, so do my eyebrows. I need to get new stuff to do my eyebrows because honestly, they always just look rough. Is that my brand? My eyebrows just look rough. I guess it is. If I ever make merch one day, I'm just gonna put my ugly ass eyebrows on there and then it'll just be like cute, you know? Why is my foot not awake? Oh my gosh. It's literally struggling. Like, I feel like my foot can't breathe. I just can never get my eyebrows to cooperate. Like, this eyebrow usually listens. Now, the other eyebrow, this shit just fucking does whatever the fuck it wants. And I just don't understand. I just don't understand. I feel so bougie with these nails. I literally, like, never get my nails done, like I said. I feel weird. I feel like a different woman. I feel reborn. Just kidding. I honestly don't think I like acrylics that much. I think I'm more of like a just either my nails not painted or just like natural nails, I guess. I don't fuck it though. I'm just like, I'm super, super lazy by nature, you know? I don't know. They're just like a lot and like it's hard to do certain things. It's just like, <laughs> this is gonna sound really, really fucking weird, but I have like claustrophobia for like the weirdest stuff. And when, like this, these are my nails, like, this sounds so fucking stupid, but they like stress me out because it feels like my nails are like trapped and like my nails are like stuck. I don't know, it's fucking weird. Please don't come for me. I just feel like my eyebrows aren't placed evenly on my face. I don't know if that even makes sense. All right, that's gonna have to be like good enough for now. Hold on, there's like, oh my gosh. All right, that's good enough for now. Bet. Why'd it look so white? 
My makeup looks really bad right now. We're just gonna ignore it and pretend that it looks really good. Thanks, guys. Thanks for telling me my makeup looks good. That's so sweet. But I'm pretty sure soft girls, like, wear a lot of blush. So we're just gonna kind of, like, pack it on. We're gonna put some on our nose. We're just gonna load her up. This one's more of, like, a peachy pink color. I don't really have any, like, super pink. But Urban Dictionary said I could use peach, so... Okay, now... We are gonna put some highlighter. And we're almost done. Do you have a feel like a plastic bag? I need to go get another battery for this because I fucking meant to charge this this morning and I forgot and it would be so much easier if I had another battery that was already charged. Oh, I did that way too close up to my eye. Frick. Frick, I messed up. It's okay to make mistakes sometimes. I'm gonna do it on our nose and on the tip. Make our nose look not as much as a butt. Now, we just need to do mascara. Sorry, I need to bring out my eyeballs. <laughs> Should I do freckles? I think I'm gonna do freckles. It just adds some pizzazz, you know? Oh no. I always fucking mess up my mascara somehow. Now, we're gonna take this. I don't know. Oh my god, my back hurts. Sorry about it. I haven't done my makeup in a minute. I can't tell if that's doing anything. I already have freckles, but they're like not very prominent because I don't really go out in the sun that often. But I definitely have freckles. You can see them if you look close. Oh, that looks wild. I'm just gonna like... Does it look like I have freckles? I don't even think you can tell, but it looks kind of weird. Okay, so we're just gonna move on. So... I'm gonna put hearts on my cheeks, and I figured the only way I could do that with my makeup skills is to take a piece of paper, fold it in half, cut out a tiny little heart. I might have to redo this because it already looks kind of bad. Let's see how that looks. That's good, right? Okay, I need to like rip out around this. That's cute. Okay, so cut out a heart so to make a little stencil, and I have this eyeshadow palette. I can't open with these nails. Brick. Okay, there we go. This eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna take the pink one. Is that too pink? I think I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to mix both of these. Or should I just do. I don't know which one's better. I'm gonna try to mix them. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, my back is burning. I literally am just an old lady in disguise. I need to like leave this here and I can't move it. Oh my god, I can't see what I'm doing. I hope it looks good. Okay, I think that's a good. <laughs> that's a really bad heart. I can't even tell that's a heart. I need to redo this. I need to do a deeper heart. Why do I suck so bad at making hearts? Someone help. I'm trying so hard. I just need to go really slow. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, how do I? I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Just cut this. Oh, okay, I need to like, I don't want to do this without messing it up. All right, I'm just gonna be like this and hopefully it fixes it. There we go, pink heart. And I'm gonna do one here. This is so hard, oh my God, I'm moving. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You okay, Waff? Ooh, that one looks bad. Ooh, I don't know why that one turned out like that. <laughs> this isn't going as well as I thought it would, but it's going better than it could be. Why does each heart look so different? I look like I have a disease. Oh, oh no. no. I got, I got a, a disease. disease. I got around in your neighborhood. Spread and all the fleas. Sorry, I'm addicted to TikTok. That side looks a lot better. So we're just gonna continue like that. Why does my back hurt so bad? I feel like I'm literally like 80 years old already. Which is disappointing because like, imagine how I'm gonna feel when I'm actually 80 years old. Yeah. See, that looks a lot better than that other side, but we're gonna just pretend that I look the same. Oh no, I've got a disease. It's kind of soft, girly, right? It's a little uneven, like that should be closer. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna add lip gloss. It bothers me how uneven they are. Like this side looks so good and this side is struggling. So next up is the hair. I think I'm gonna do, ow, ow, ow. Why is this stuck in my hair? Um, excuse me, sir, please come out, ow. What was I saying? Oh, I think I'm gonna do, 
a lot of them will just wear like barrettes or i don't know but i'm gonna do two ponies like that and yeah i'm gonna do like half a pack down with two ponytails and maybe leave my bangs should i leave my bangs yeah i'm gonna leave my bangs i think where did my hair ties go waffle did you eat my hair ties oh there you go i was like um excuse me sir did you eat my hair ties hey okay oh I'm kind of struggling. I always struggle when I just do my hair. Why? I don't really know, sir. There we go. Oh my god, we got the ponies. I'm feeling very soft girl right now. Now, we get, ooh. Oh my god, my battery's about to die. Frick, frick, frick. Now, we're gonna put these pink clips in right here. They're not butterfly clips, but I don't have any butterfly clips. So, we're just gonna do these and make them cute and it kind of looks like butterfly clips like a little bit so that's the hair and the makeup now i'm gonna go put my outfit on and my battery is about to die so i'm gonna charge it up a little bit and then come back to you okay guys here's my finished soft girl look you can kind of see my nips sorry but just pretend you can't and i got my white air force ones on with my mom jeans i really look like a soft girl oh my god i didn't think i could do it that well real soft girl shit Oh my god, I'm cringing. Wow. Wait, hold on. I think if I add some pink barrettes right here, that'll just add on to the soft girl vibes, you know? There's a little added soft girl vibes. Hee <laughs> hee. This is so cute. I just wore white Nike socks because I don't have any like cute white socks. So actually we're like loving this transformation. Oh, I never fucking wiped off that eyeshadow or that mascara, whatever. It's too late. You can really see my fucking nipples and I'm just not trying to do that right now, but. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. If you, if you think I did a good job, comment down below and let me know. And let me know what you would want to see me transform into next. When I say stuff like that, I feel so fucking basic i'm sorry yeah so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it subscribe if you liked it even just a little bit and that's it bye i'm going to go make some tiktoks now i love this trans. am i a soft girl now this transformation is so cute real soft girl shit